Hey guys, welcome back. What's up? I haven't recorded a video in like forever. Life's been crazy, but today I'm gonna do another one of like the same videos that I do all the time. Everything that I made within the month, but I'm gonna do a March and April since I didn't get to do March last month. And I also didn't make like a significant amount of stuff. So it'll be fine to just combine them. But yeah, let's begin. I'm gonna start with March, obviously. I write it all down in my planner, my like little creative accomplishments. So the first thing I actually made is like an upcycle of a dress. I'll just put it right here because it's um downstairs. Um I never already took videos of it and whatnot, so I'll just like put it right here. Um, but yeah, it's like a Pusheen cute dress. I had like a Pusheen sweater and it was up on Depop for a while for like a really long time and no one was buying it. So I was like, it's kind of like ugly anyways. So let me just make it into a dress. Um, so I made it into like a cute little dress with like matching leg warmers and it's still up for sale actually. So if anyone does want that, I'll accept an offer on it for sure. Um, but yeah, I thought it was so cute. And then I made this outfit. I haven't got to wear it yet, but I'm going to wear the top on Thursday to work. Not with the skirt, but how freaking cute. I made this skirt. And with the matching top. And I plan on wearing this to Dom Dalla, which is in August, like as a set, um, with like my star chain belt and like some other accessories. But how freaking sick is this? Like this material, I think I got this material at Joann's, like Christmas time when I had like a gift card. I got a gift card from there, and then I just like used black T-shirt to make this added beads. And this material I actually was in the thrift store for something. I think I was donating stuff and then like, you know, they give you a coupon when you donate stuff. And it was like from a Peloton tank top. And I think it was it cost me like $4 or something like that. Um, but like, what a sick material. And like, it's pretty good quality, obviously. I think it was like from a, like a $98 shirt, I think it was. Um, and then this was just from like a checkerboard t-shirt that I had turned into like a crop top and that was like the leftovers. But yeah, I'm so excited to wear this and dance around in it and just look like a little fairy. So I don't have any photos of me like styling that yet because I'm gonna wait until August for that. But I am gonna be wearing this Thursday, so maybe... Maybe I'll have a picture of the shirt styled. I don't know. Depends on when I get this bitch up. I'm obviously gonna wear this skirt before August too, cause like, how can I not? Okay, and then I had like an abundance of crystals, like just way too many, like crowning all around my like shelf area. So I took them and made a belt out of them. Cause so I was like, how can I like use these in a way where they're just like not collecting dust everywhere and I just went and like found like a piece of leather that I had laying around like faux leather some material and just sewed like um I cut out like a long rectangle of it and just sewed a long strip and then I had these little hook and closure thingies I had them from a bag or something that fell apart and I just took these off and saved them because I was like, oh, I could use this eventually. And I obviously can. <laughs> so yeah, this was like super easy. And then I just glued them down with like these 6,000 and they've been holding up pretty well. And now my crystal area looks so much nicer because there's like not as much clutter. I've also just been like giving away like crystals and shit just in Depop orders because there's just like way too many and now it's like nice and clean. And then I had made this gloomy bear hoodie, which I did a whole entire video of like my process and everything on it. Um, 
So I'll link that like above. But how cute! Just like the blood splatters and the ribbons and everything. And the hood has his little face. Um, but yeah, this will also cost me like, I think like eight bucks to make or something. No, I'm lying. No, I'm not lying because I had gift cards to Joanne's once again. So that basically the dye was free. Um, and then I thrifted a white sweater at Savers for like $3 or something like that. But yeah, I'll put the video here so you can see the whole entire thing. I saw like the Gloomy Bear sweater on Spencer's and was like, I want that, but I don't want to pay $60, so made my own version. My Nikes I always wear, I got busted up because I usually wear them to shows all the time. Um, so I just like repainted them and they're so much cuter now. And they actually match with like my outfits better than they have before because the colors are a little deeper. But yeah, I just did like the same colors that they were, just like slightly deeper. And then I added this like little rainbow thing. So this will glow as well, because it's a neon paint. And then I just switched out the laces. They were just white laces before, um, but now they're two different colors. But yeah, they're like still have so much light to them, you know, like the soles aren't like fucked up, so. I was like, I'm not gonna buy new shoes. And then I just combined these two shirts. I had this pink, like where the patch is from, this pink shirt was just like its own shirt, but it was like wildly too big. And I don't really like winter clothes or like long sleeves and whatnot. I just have them cause like I need them, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so I just added it to this shirt and I also added that was like a part of the shirt. I think it was on the back. The little skeleton dude was on the back of the pink one. Um, I don't know exactly. I think it might've been on the back or somewhere on the sleeve. Cause the pink shirt originally had like this on the front of it. And then the sleeves had like all of like the guys, different screen front did artworks just on all the sleeves. Um, so I ended up like cutting them out and using them for patches. Like for example, like this one was a part of the shirt too on the sleeve, but I had a hole in my pants over here. So I just patched it on there and added it to it. Same with here, there was like a hole here. So I just patched over it. So basically I'm just using the sleeves as patches now. Cause like, I mean, it, they're like cool patches. They're just like his art and all over. But yeah, the shirt was, I had the shirt, this was Joey's shirt, he didn't want it, and now it's been mine for a while. But yeah, I feel like this looks so good. Like, I love pink and neon green together. They, like, look so perfect with each other. And then this shirt I didn't get to wear yet because I had worn it with an outfit on, like, I guess one of the last, like, colder days. And... It was like a hoodie before, just like a cropped hoodie before. And I was like, when I like took a picture of my outfit, I was like, this looks kind of like, it just looks too frumpy and just not, I'm not really into the baggy like cropped vibe anymore, I guess. But I don't know, like the hoodies, they take up too much space. I also just don't like hoodies because my hair gets all knotty in it because it's like long and stuff. And it's just like very uncomfortable. Um, I'd rather just not have like a big ass hood on the back of my shirt. I do like like the skinny hood. Like if it's like a thin sweater, like a hood is fine back there. But the thick one's like no. So I turned it into this like cute little crop top. It's like a tight little shirt now. And then it's like off the shoulder. But I didn't get to wear it yet. And I don't think I'll be able to wear it until like next year. Because it's... Like this is too warm to be worn. It's not gonna get, I don't think it's gonna get cold again. <laughs> but I will show you it tried on because it's so cute. And now I'll like actually wear that more. Cause like I loved like the look of it with the square neckline too. I didn't really wear it that much when it was a hoodie. I kind of just wore it like, cause I was like, oh, I haven't worn that in a long time. So I need to wear it. Not like cause I wanted to. <laughs> 
Like I love the design and the colors and all, but not like, I did not like the hoodie look. And uh, I just turned this little tank top into a tube top. Very simple. This was just like a muscle tee. But the, like over here on the tank top was just like stretched out and like gross because this is literally from like eighth grade. So all I did was cut out the Grateful Dead patch and then sew it on the lower part of the shirt and cut the top off and yeah, tube top. Um, same with this. So this was like a t-shirt crop top that I had cropped way too short um, and it was a lot baggier. So I just turned it into like a tight little tube top with like a halter neck situation and I ended up braiding the fabric which just gave it like another like a little detail just because it's kind of like boring if it's just like plain white it just like gave it a little something because I haven't gotten to wear like style yet as its new self but yeah this like fits way better I hate like when I I don't know what it was like why we were cropping shirts like big t-shirts because like when you lift your arms up like everything is just like how was I functioning throughout life and working with a crop top that just goes like this like I don't want to wear a shirt if I have to wear a shirt underneath it you know what I mean okay so that was all for March now let's go to what I made in April okay so this also I did not wear yet but I will be wearing the top on Saturday, Friday, um, for my birthday. This is going to be a part of my birthday outfits, but, um, it's like, um, just like a tank top thing with like this all ripped, like double layers, and I like pierced part of it. This part is like in 3M, this is the back. And it has two sleeves. I don't know where the other ones are going. So one is like off the shoulder. It's like so hard to show, like um, not tried on. Um, but one of the sleeves is like off the shoulder. And then I just added like a bunch of beads all over it. And yeah, I was really happy how this came out. This is supposed to be for a show as well. I made this specifically for a show that I'm going at the end of the month. Um, and I made matching shorts as well. Like, how cute are these? So it has like the matching little ripped thingy on the side. I get it on the top and then I have a pocket here in the 3M. with like more beads and string hanging from it. And then the back is just like mix match as it is on the front. Um, and this was the fabric that I got for Christmas from Kevin's Psychedelic. Yeah, I can't wait to wear that. I'm wearing that to side piece at the end of the month. I don't really have like that many shows going on. So I was like, I'm gonna like actually make outfits for the shows this year and just go all out because why not? Because literally only have like two so far. Meanwhile, I usually have like 18. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's like not really anyone playing that's like, I'd actually want to see again continuously. So that's that. Hopefully the Raves step up their game, I guess. Or not, because it's okay. I don't, I don't really like ones that are until 5am anymore. <laughs> Way too late. Okay, then I had this like ugly ass manly button up shirt. That I turned into like a cute girly frilly top. It's just like got ruffles at the bottom and like it's like kind of puffy, not really sleeve. Still buttons up and the back is just like open with this like purple cotton strap that I had laying around from like an old t-shirt. But yeah, this is like easy like way to level up your button-ups it's like just too stiff and like too like this is a man's shirt you know what i mean like it just did not fit the body properly and now it's cute 
Plus, I think there was like a stain on the bottom or something, like bleached or whatever from my job. So I got to cut that out. Um, then I did like some, I did like a lot of commissions this month. So I don't really have those to show, obviously, because I gave them to the people. But one was like boring, just like hemming and like sewing on labels and whatever. And then another one. She's, it's for this, I made like a upcycled a festival outfit for this girl. Um, I don't know if I have a picture, but if I do, I'll put it right here. But she hasn't worn it yet because she's going to wear it to like a festival that's like in August or whatever. But that was like really fun to create. I never actually did that for like someone else like create a festival outfit. She had like this like pretty like velvety sheer like long just boxy dress so there's a lot of material to work with it and we just did like a bra top with like pearls hanging from the bottom and like a cinched up skirt with like little arm warmers that have like the elf thing here and they like laced up over here it's super cool and then i did a like a digital artwork commission for one of my friends who like he like um, commissions me for like a lot of like digital art because he does this like um, Pokemon streaming thing. So I do like all of his artwork for his Twitch stuff. So I'll just like put a picture right here. I think he's gonna like put it on shirts and hats for like his merch or whatever. I made these, well, these were pants and I turned them into shorts. I hate how they're so long. <laughs> I'm just gonna fold this over. Because this is how I would actually wear it. Um, so they're like little fold over shorts now. They fit way better. Before they were just like so big. I don't know. The person, some girl, I bought these off online. Some girl made because like the patterns are so sick. But um, I got an extra small one. It was just like so big. <laughs> like the like crotch to like top of the waist was so so large for some reason like the pants literally come up to here if you don't fold it over and it looked weird like folded over his pants because they were so flared out um I don't know I think it was meant for like a taller and like thicker person maybe but anyways they're shorts now and I'll actually wear them I had them up for sale as pants on Devop and then I drew something I drew a girl so I drew this little girly at work and I finished her at home I think or I think I just might have finished at work whatever anyways I drew her outfit and I was like after I drew it I was like oh my god I want like an outfit like this um so I ended up making these shorts basically out of those old pants I was like I don't need to make a whole entire thing because I have these pants that I still like and I can just turn them into the shorts and they fit so good I'm gonna take them on my trip and like wear them in like the spa and just like lounging around and just like in general now I can wear the heck out of these which I was like pretty upset when they didn't fit because they were kind of a lot of money and I didn't want to just like you know like get rid of them or just let them go because obviously you can't sell like a handmade item for the same price you paid on depop it just like no one's gonna buy it especially if it's just like a cotton little like bell bottom thing like nothing really to it and then i did a lot of like sketchbooking and whatnot this month did this little drawing she is cute. She's just sitting there with her heart open and she's got like a little cacao and sage in her hand and she is just vibing. Oh. And then I also just finished this one up the other day. I've just been trying to like get back into like a daily art practice. So I've been trying to like draw every day. Not even like been trying, it's just like naturally, like I feel like I just want to draw every day <laughs> instead of like doing other bullshit, like watching a bunch of garbage on the internet. Um, but yeah, this I actually saw 
I like meditated literally for like not even like five minutes. I legit just like closed my eyes for like a few seconds and was like breathing and then like this just appeared in my head. I don't know. Um, I eventually want to make this into a painting, I think, because I think it would be really cool. But I have to finish painting this painting that I'm painting for Joey first, which I'm going to finish tomorrow. And then I would like to work on these two paintings that I've had in my head for a while, like sketched out um, before I like start into like some whole new other idea. But at least this is like fully drawn out to like it's... Now I don't want to say fullest capacity, but like to like a good amount where like I don't have to remember it because when I look at it, I will actually remember it. Like it's got the colors and all the designs and whatnot. And then the last thing I made this month, I finished this plane, which is like probably one of the six things I have created so far. So this plane, um. Joey had made this plane back in like high school in like woodshop class <laughs> um and when we were cleaning out his room we ended up finding it and I was like oh shit like this would be so sick to paint so I painted it and it goes in the black light too I added once again to refine my crystal collection I added a crystal over here on the screw to cover that um, and added like another like little crystal selection thingy on the top of it with the DNA and there's like these little two people in space floating with the planets connecting with their finger just like all in love and then we got like a little mushroom here just vibrating goodness some like slimy eyeballs and this like little lady which i like in my work sketchbook i think like drew this in here somewhere and i was like oh that actually looked really cool on the tail of the plane so i put her on there and then the side is just like sky with rainbow and then we have like the matrix lines over here and it's like hard to see inside there, but there's like Spongebob-y flowers in there. And the top is just like earth print. Um, and this is just like electric, like lightning clouds and whatnot. We got the yin yang wheels. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Joey Celeste signed his name right here, but there's my sign and then his will be right here. But yeah, this thing's sick. But let me show you the drawing. Okay, so I was doing this at work, I guess. I was bored and just like doodling. I think some of these things were already here before and I was just like adding to it. But um, there's this like two little faces, whatever. I think I drew them somewhere else too. And I can't remember where, but I'm sure it's in one of my other books. But yeah, that was all I made within the past two months. Oh my god, I forgot to show you. I painted my water bottle too. My water bottle case got like extremely filthy and gross and just looked like vomit and dirt was all over it. So my mom actually had the idea for me to paint it and I was like, eh, I don't know, it might not turn out right because the material, but it's perfect. I don't know why I had that thought because I paint my clothes with acrylic and it always turns out fine. Oh yeah, how cute. And this also, there's some parts that glow in black light. Like the peace sign and the flowers glow in black light, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, now that was everything I made within the past two months. Let me know what your favorite thing was. I think mine had to be the skirt outfit and the short outfit, the plane and the water bottle. Yeah. Bye.